High Point to Pilot Mountain. WXII 12 News has you covered. Keep up with your local weather team across the triad. Follow Brian Slocum on social media. Today is Monday, March 20th, the first day of spring, but not feeling like spring at all just yet. We've got freeze warnings in place until 10 o'clock this morning for all triad counties this morning and a freeze watch in place for later tonight into early Tuesday morning. Uh, we've got a couple of colder days in the forecast before milder temperatures return by tomorrow afternoon, at least getting us back to seasonal numbers. And then a late week warm up will get us in that spring mood once again with 70s and even a day where temperatures could get close to 80 degrees. Seems very far away considering the situation we're in right now. Uh, our second cold snap in less than a week has uh, prompted these freeze warnings for the triad. Temperatures area wide uh, are below 30 in most areas. Troy is at 31 along with High Point and Snow Camp this morning. Everybody else in the triad is in the upper 20s, to the exception of Moxville. We've got teens farther west in the high country uh, and lower to mid 20s over much of the foothills. Rural Hall reporting 22 on area 26 degrees this morning and temperatures are still coming down. We're not alone. Not only are the Carolinas at least a large uh, section of the Carolinas under that freeze warning, but much of Georgia, Tennessee, all the way back into portions of easterly Texas and all along the Gulf Coast. Uh, freeze warnings are accounted for as that center of that cold Canadian air mass is slipping through the south. This is going to gradually ease eastward this week, allowing the milder flow of air to start to move in and even as early as tomorrow we'll begin to see the uh, effects of that afternoon highs from today to tomorrow should be nearly 10 degrees milder uh, and today we're expecting lower 50s uh, wall to wall sunshine today uh, a pretty cold start uh, to a cool day overall winds are generally going to be light out of the north or northwest at about five miles per hour uh, maybe a few passing clouds but not much more than that uh, for the foothills you're high close to 50 a few degrees off the pace set by the triad uh, north northwest winds at about five miles per hour uh, even mountain temperatures get out of the teens and into the 30s before lunchtime high of around 45 degrees today winds will likely turn a little more southwesterly uh, by day's end let's jump ahead next couple of days you can see some Coastal wet weather continues to move into the beaches near Wilmington, and that begins to pull away later tonight or really later this evening. A few more clouds possible tomorrow, but it's still a mostly sunny day uh, and temperatures start to recover quite well. We'll be close to 60 degrees tomorrow. In fact, I have us in the lower 60s with clouds returning Tuesday night. A few spots of rain Wednesday. That's really about all that we're looking at. Uh, most of the rain's going to stay offshore, it looks like, uh, with a chance for wet weather returning by week's end before that that happens so temperatures are going to surge and we're expecting a warmer pattern to start setting up over the next several days late this week in the weekend warmer than average temperatures will likely continue in the next week we'll also have some opportunities for wet weather so check it out from mid 20s this morning to the mid 70s on thursday and even getting close to 80 by friday we'll cool some this weekend with a good rain chance friday night and saturday but still we'll have highs in the low to mid 70s